In the early 1800s, it was a great dream to build an inland waterway 400 kilometers long, linking Lake Ontario to Georgian Bay. But in the fall of 1833, the government hired Nicol Hugh Baird, a Scottish civil engineer, who began surveying a canal route via the Trent and Severn rivers. The British military, threatened by American invasion, wanted a Trent Severn Canal as an alternate passage for ships to enter the Great Lakes. Lured by the promise of free land and wages, thousands of British, French and Italian men came to build the canal. They lived in rugged camps working for one dollar a day. It was often dangerous and exhausting work. Several men died in explosions or by drowning. In 1833, the Trent Severn Canal's first lock was built in Bob Cajun in eastern Ontario. No one imagined it would take 87 years to build the entire canal. The final bill was a staggering 24 million, 300 million in today's dollars, well above Baird's original estimate of 3 million. The Trent Severn Canal is an engineering marvel that begins in Trenton and runs for 386 kilometers over falls and rapids through 46 locks. It boasts North America's only marine railway, a massive boat lift that cradles boats through the locks 18 meters above the water. A national historic site, the canal, run by Parks Canada, is a boater's paradise that attracts 18,000 visitors from across North America each summer.